Hello, my name is Green, and today we're back with another episode of Building Your Comments. As you can see, we are making this world absolutely full of random creations, all from your mind. So let's get straight into it. Adele Smith says, build a teapot and a coffee pot going out for dinner. I wanted to start off with something fairly simple for this one, and remember I was going for some of the more highly voted for recommendations, and this one was at the top of the list. I actually had to look up what a coffee pot looked like, because I don't drink coffee, I actually can't stand it. Being British, I am a tea drinker. But anyway, I looked it up and it's just this glass jug, but they are going out to dinner, so I've got a knife and fork, and I've given them a face as I normally do with anything on building your comments. On the other side, we're going to have a more traditional teapot. Just a simple shape made of quartz, and while it's not, you know, very exciting right now, it's not about the teapot itself, but the expression that I managed to give it. For some reason, it just looks so angry. I don't know whether it's because of the nose bit or the eyebrows, but honestly, the teapot is just absolutely wonderful. And it's a cute little scene that we've got going on here, the teapot and the coffee pot going out to dinner. Although they haven't actually got any food, I never actually got round to adding that. But it's a nice little build to add and a great start to this episode. Next up, the Nugget Nation says, Build an onion crying, and it had 134 upvotes. That is a huge amount of upvotes. I wanted to elaborate on this person's idea. So, this is the onion, but if you don't cook at home, when you cut onions up, it actually makes you cry. So, I'm guessing that's what this person was saying that the onion is crying rather than the person. So I thought I'd do the full role reversal and make the onion cutting up a human and crying about it because, you know, the whole role reversal. It's not too gory, it's just Minecraft carpets. So that's the reason he's crying. Onions make your eyes water a lot. It's not pleasant, don't do it. But if you have never heard of it before, ask your mum about it. It's quite interesting. All of the acid reaches your eyes. Anyway, enough about onions. They don't need to go on about that. Next up, Dread Fury says, build a waffle riding a snowboard with 152 upvotes. I went for this one just because it was, you know, fairly weird. It's no role reversal, it's just odd. And I am going skiing soon, so that might have something to do with it. So, let's build this waffle. It's going to be a simple grid design, and I only made it for a long, only three highs, so it's kind of a stumpy waffle. And since he's snowboarding, I thought I'd make him look extra cool with some sunglasses. They look like the deal with it glasses, you know the ones I'm talking about. And he's like pointing out and having a great time on his snowboard. Unfortunately, no snow for this one. So let's move round to a free space. I want to try and keep it equal. Sergeant Rahman says, build a book judging another book by its cover. What a great idea. It's not a role reversal, and we're not just going for role reversals on this video or in this series. We're going for any and all ideas. So, this is a great one. I'm gonna try and give it a face of disgust, like the other person has a horrible looking cover. And I'm also gonna make this person look derpy because you shouldn't judge anyone by their cover. This book is the fool in this scenario. So he's got quite a goofy face going on. But what is he judging? Ah, well, this is what he's judging. The ugliest block combinations I could come up with to make this book have not a particularly attractive cover, but that doesn't mean it's any less of an interesting read. So for this face, I wanted him to have a really cheeky expression, which I didn't add a mouth for, just had the arm come round and the little eyes, so there's quite a good interaction going on there. So, let's move on to the next one, which is, wait, Green? Green says, build a mysterious black box and go inside it. Well, all right, so let's go inside. Oh, oh, what's this? Is this a shameless self-promotion? I think it might be. There's a green head, and I've got a new t-shirt design I wanted to show you. I didn't want to do an unboxing, so I thought I'd just lay it out here and sort of sneak it into building your comments. I designed this, and I really hope that people want it. If you do, there is a link to my store in the description. Anyway, enough of the merch plug. I hope you like my t-shirts. Let's get back into building your comments. So, 
Shameless self-promotion aside, we need to get on and build some more ideas. So the next idea is from Fiery. Build snowballs throwing Steves at each other. This is a classic role reversal, we haven't actually done any for this episode yet. So when I normally do spheres, especially in this series, I tend to go too big, and I don't have world edit, so it takes an awful long time, so I decided for these snowballs to keep them fairly little, and that kind of goes with the whole thing of them being a snowball, but I have to make them big enough to give them arms and legs and eyes and all that kind of stuff. I have sort of developed this style of just whenever I build an object, I have to give them those legs and arms. I don't know why. I should probably try something different. Anyway, I've got it throwing this Steve through the air. So building something mid-action is incredibly difficult. I learnt that when we had the tree punching Steve. For this one, I decided to just have him laying down flat and look like he's flying like Superman and give him an expression of deep fear. So classic notch face when we're going to this one. And we need a second snowball. So there's not going to be too much about it. Going to give the Steve some hair as well. Although I'm not quite sure that spruce is the right colour in retrospect. But the rules of building your comments are no do-overs. And after this one, we're going to get to a build which I deeply, deeply regret because it starts off amazing and then it ends up being a catastrophe. So we've got two snowballs, snowball throwing a Steve at the other one. It wasn't as exciting as I would have hoped, but it's still a nice addition to the building your comments and it fits in nicely with all the other weird stuff we've got going on. Right, so over here, I've got my little collection of Harry Potter themes. I've got the cactus and the hay that is Dumbledore. We've got Harry and Dumbledore. Now, Pixify says, build a bear whose nose is being stolen by Voldemort. Now, <laughs> That's a great one, and of course I'm going to stick Voldemort next to my Harry and Dumbledore. So I decided to try and go for his whole billowing robes. Building a human being is difficult at the best of times, and you definitely can't manage to do it in the square style I normally do my characters in. So, I needed to try and get a more organic build. I actually spent like 40 minutes making this one alone, it took so long. And getting the robe right went pretty well, I think. It might not look like much for, for now, but give me a few minutes and it will all look about right. So Voldemort has these great big black or, well, dark green robes, and he kind of just slithers into them. But he's really, really pale, okay? So there's not really a block that's pale enough, or the right colour at least. I've got snow block and I would have chosen bone block, but I don't have it in this version. Now what I really messed up on was not just making him too pale with the snow, but it just was not the right shape. He doesn't look like Voldemort at all, so I gave him a bear's nose. I suppose it kind of resembles him, you might just manage to work out what it is. But it's so weird, I completely butched it, especially as his robes look pretty cool. I managed to mess it up, but there's my little Harry Potter collection going on, so look out for anyone with some good Harry Potter suggestions. Anyway, as always, Duke says, build an alarm clock with a screaming human next to it, and he credited someone else for the idea, so I guess he stole it, but that was nice of him to credit them. So here's my alarm clock, and he's pretty meh about being woken up. And here is the screaming human. I realise for this episode I've done this face quite a lot, and it's because it's an easy go-to face. Uh, this is the alarm human, and being woken up by an alarm clock. Bit of role reversal on that one, but I want to see some more interesting ideas. Anything will do, whether it's random or funny, whatever. Planet Teork says, build an ice cube on fire. Please like and all that sort of stuff. Don't beg for likes in your thing, just give a really good comment and that should be enough to get it. This is going to be the cutest ice cube. Look how sad he is. He's so cute. And now I have to set him on fire. I actually really like this. It was so simple. It reminds me of a slime, but it's just an ice cube. So, uh, to get, make something on fire in Minecraft, you don't just get out your flint and steel. If you want to do it in a build-wise way, you need to go for the stained glass, because this is the best way to do it. You have red on the outside, then some orange, then some yellow, and it mimics fire in the best way possible. 
That is the saddest cube on fire that I've ever made. And that's it for this episode of Building Your Comments. We had some lovely additions to the map this time. And these are all going to be in the same world. And maybe if we ever reach episode 10, I'll put this world down for download and you can see all of these in person. The rules are no do-overs, so this is the point where I ask you, everyone, leave a comment of your idea down below for other people to look at and to vote up, and vote up only the best ideas if you can't come up with one on your own. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Goodbye!